Welcome back. Well, a new robotic treatment is now available in the U.S. to help people who have spinal cord injuries. Yeah, the technology is nicknamed HAL, which is short for Hybrid Assistive Limb. It is the world's first advanced device that improves a patient's ability to walk. Here is Dr. Geneva Tanuzzi, medical director at the Spinal Cord Injury Program, where it is now being used along with a patient currently using HAL. So medical HAL, or Hybrid Assistive Limb, is the first advanced robotic treatment device that has already been shown to improve the ability to walk in persons with spinal cord injury. It's an, an exoskeleton ro robot that fits to a patient's trunk and their lower limbs and acts to perceive a person's um, neurologic intentions. So what I mean by that or how it facilitates that is there's sensors that are placed on a person's skin on their lower extremities that are able to perceive residual signals that are going from the brain to the spinal cord and down to a person's lower extremities. From those signals, the, the robot is able to perceive a person's um, desired intentions and ultimately able to improve their mobility. And obviously the end game is, is the ability to walk. Uh, I've been researching ever since my accident about two and a half years ago. And through my research and here at Brooks when I, is how I found out about how it feels great I mean, I've walked in other exoskeletons before, and you, it's always basically you're riding in those as a passenger, and with how it moves with you because you're initiating the steps, and it just feels great because it's a free movement. So at the Brooks Cybernetic Treatment Center, the BCTC, we are able to provide the HAL technology for a variety of persons with tetraplegia, um, so that means an injury of, at the neck, or with persons who have paraplegia, which is really any injury um, sustained below the neck. Um, one of the biggest um, components for how to work is that there is still some at least residual signal getting through from the brain to the spinal cord down to the lower extremities. Um, that helps the device to, to give that volitional movement that the patient is desiring. But other than that, we're just looking for people who are highly motivated and, and really willing to work hard with us every single day visit our website www.brookcyberdyne.org for further information about how and um, some contact information for us if you have further questions.